Hello everybody, welcome to the Noble Reactions. Do we have a crazy one for you today? We have Wednesday Adams, the brand new Netflix series that's gonna be coming out. Uh, I'm really pumped about seeing this trailer, haven't seen it yet, um, so I'm kind of excited. Alright, so let's get going here. First things first, I have to do something about this atrocious <laughs> hair that I have going on. I it can't is take him seriously. absolutely horrible. I don't even know if I can do anything, but it something's gotta give. It is bad news. I think I made it worse. <laughs> you did make it worse. And poof! Just like that, through the magic of video <laughs> editing, I'm back with hair uh, somewhat normal. Uh, I'll be honest, it was a quick change. I don't know that it's any better, but it feels better to me. So, let's get moving. The Adams Family actually came out in 1938, the original Adams Family. That was back in the sort of single frame comics, uh, black and white, way back in the day. I didn't realize, I think for, I didn't really realize that it started as a comic. I guess I always associated no Adams Family with the first TV show. Yeah. Uh, the very first TV show that came out. And that was in 1964. I remember uh, growing up, there was like this black and white, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> right? I remember that old school, but I liked it. I didn't care if it was in black and white. I liked it. Yeah. I thought it was a cute, it was a funny show. It starred John Aston and Carolyn Jones, among other folks in that show. I liked it. I liked that yeah. sort of, even that, that black and white style, I still thought it was funny. It was a cool show. Um, and I remember the theme song, obviously, and the entrance. It was just a cool show. So I kind of have always liked Adam's Family to a certain extent. Obviously, there's been lots and lots of reboots since then. I think a lot of people associated Adam's Family with the 1991 movie and then the follow-up 1993 movie. Um, had Angelica Houston in it as Morticia. Had Christopher Lloyd in it as Uncle Fester. Uh, and then it had Raul um, as Gomez. So, and then of course, Christina Ricci. Ricky? Ricci? Ricci. Christina Ricci? Ricci. I have a hard time saying that. Christina Ricci, I think, um, as Wednesday Adams. And so I feel like that's kind of what people, most people associate Adams Family with. Um, but it was in color. Woohoo! It was a color. It was very humorous, very comedic. Um, so I've just really liked Adams Family. Um, I would have to say that my favorite is the black and white, though. I think the black and white's classic. It's like yeah. timeless, right? That's what I watched all the time. I totally think so. But yeah. I really enjoyed the movies. I thought they were yeah. great. And now it's been kind of out of the picture for a while. I think they've done some like animated stuff. They tried to do a new Adams Family, I think, at one point. I don't know how that went because I didn't. I never heard of it. I never yeah. really saw it. Um, and they're trying to bring it back on Netflix with this Wednesday Adams series, and it looks really cool. Um, so let's just jump into the trailer. I want to see it. I want to see if it's gonna be good. I assume it's gonna be a comedy, maybe a dark comedy. So let's watch it together. Nevermore Academy. Nevermore was created as a safe haven for our children <laughs> to learn and to grow, no matter who okay. or what they are. I'm getting a little X-Men first class out of this. A little Harry Potter, too. Can you roommate? Are you feeling okay? You look a little Ooh. pale. Please excuse Wednesday. Okay. She's allergic to Interesting. The, the... Oh, well, what happens to you? Gomez and Morticia. I break out into hives and then the flesh peels off my bones. <laughs> Did you hear the music? Da, 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 da. I act as if I don't care if people dislike me. <laughs> Deep down, I actually enjoy it. <laughs> Billy. Uh, uh. There's just something wrong about this place. Not just because it's a school. Secret societies, hidden libraries. Okay. Yeah. A homicidal monster. Ooh. What other surprises are in store? Mm. There's Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. I like to travel incognito. Come on, let's roll. Tim Burton, okay. I didn't realize Tim Burton was involved in this. Nevermore continues to be a place where the questions far outweigh the answers. I won't stop until I find the truth. I know the 
the suspense is killing you. Look at that slow grin. Ooh, I got a little carry there. A little carry. <laughs> Good evening, girls. I'm Miss Thornhill. I trust Enid has given you the old Nevermore welcome. That's Christina Ricci. She's been smothering me with hospitality. I hope to return the favor. In her sleep. <laughs> smothering her with her hospitality in her sleep. I like that. November 23rd. Hmm. I wonder. Let me take a look. I'm curious. Wow, that was kind of cool. Um, I kind of did it. What'd you think? Visually, it looked amazing. The colors and just, I, I don't want to call it graphics. What do you say? Our art style, maybe? Artistic, art style, visual yeah, effects? Yeah, like I didn't expect that. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. It looks good. It looks quality. Very quality. Look, Netflix put some money into this yeah. one, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I just looked it up. November 23rd is a Wednesday. So Wednesday... Is it the day before Thanksgiving? Is... Uh, two day, or I think so, yeah. Day before yeah. is... Wait, I, th I thought Thanksgiving was the 25th. Is it not? No. 24th? Thanksgiving's on a Thursday. Know. Whatever. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Thursday. <laughs> Sorry, I don't pay much attention all the way... Uh, ho what, did I, what did I just say? I don't know Holidays? What you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what's going on. We've already gone off the rails on this trailer, but um, yeah, so it's on a Wednesday. So Wednesday, Adams is releasing on a Wednesday. That's cool. Day before Thanksgiving. So now we know what we're going to be watching. We're going to binge watching on Thanksgiving. Yeah. And we're all stuffed with turkey. Um, wow, there was a lot of stuff there. I heard the da 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 and then I heard, saw the snaps with Christina Ricci. I didn't even know it was Christina Ricci for a minute. I was like, who is that? Until he said it, because she does not look like herself at all. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, it, it says, I, I, it's in the very beginning, I think it said coming of age. So it feels like a very like coming of age story. Which it's I liked. not necessarily about the Adams family, it seems like. It's very much about Wednesday Adams, as the name of the series obviously implies. It's really about Wednesday Adams and kind of growing up yeah. and going to school and interacting with all these people, which you get a little bit of that in some of the show, in the show, and some of the uh, in the films and stuff. But like, it seems like this is like really going hard into the school atmosphere. Yeah. Um, and sort of like her interacting with school age children, um, and that dynamic. Kind of reminded me, not really, but for some reason I kept thinking of Harry Potter. It did. I felt I yeah. felt Harry Potter. Our lights keep flickering off and on. <laughs> Our bright and not bright. I'm like looking around. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't know what's going. On. I think we need it's a light Wednesday. bulb change. I'm gonna go punch it. Yeah. It is. It's the Adams family that are spooking us out. Um, so it's very appropriate for this. But I think um, I did. I got like X Men first class vibes for a half a second, like going into the school for gifted children or whatever, because they had what was with the people with the, like no faces? The no Nevermore face. Academy. So it doesn't seem like it's like you know a public school. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem. It seems like it's maybe some sort of school for. I don't know if it's gifted children or different Spooky children. Children or you know. I have no idea, but something specific for a, a type of, of child, or maybe, I don't know, but it sounds kind of, it looks kind of interesting. Yeah. It doesn't look like scary, but did, there was a little bit of scariness. Yeah, so, but it still doesn't look like the scary is going to be scary. But yeah, it's like still super, more like fun scary. Yeah. All right, so let's unpack it. Let's just go into detail a little bit here. So, Nevermore Academy, some sort of school for gifted or odd children. Um, definitely some weird faceless people in there. I don't know what was going on, but it, it looked like there was some sort of like creature. Did yeah. you see the creature? Yeah, I saw the claw. Like the claw, like climbing up the <laughs> yeah. steps and the, so I don't know what that's about. Marks. I don't know if there's going to be magic in this movie or this show, in this series. I would say, I mean, like. thing is, the thing is magical. I mean, it's just yeah. the hand. He's like... <laughs> but I kind of feel like the original series and even the movies didn't really lean into magic. I felt like it was more, maybe mysticism is the right word. I don't know. It did, I don't remember there being like a lot of magic. It just felt like more it was like a weird family <laughs> that had like yeah cousin it was although the hand yeah that's what i was saying thing. yeah the hand uh, uh, thing yeah i don't know um i don't know if that's magic or necromancy or something i don't know but don't it know. seems like maybe there's some more mysticism sorcery magic <laughs> something maybe going to be in this series than we've seen before which i think is kind of cool we could be wrong, but I don't know. I don't know what else explains a monster crawling up the staircase, but whatever. It was good to see Uncle Fester. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know um, because a lot of the stuff that's been shown, as far as like trailer uh, or like posters, I've seen just the four, mm -hmm. like Pugsley, Wednesday, Morticia, and Gomez. I haven't really seen some of the other characters, like Thing, or I, I didn't see Cousin It. No, anywhere. I haven't seen Cousin It. 
Um, Fun fact, my family and people used to call me Cousin It because I had like really, really curly hair yeah. and it was down to my butt. Yeah. And so people called me It. <laughs> Cousin and It. I did not think that was funny and I still don't. <laughs> Just put your hair in front of your face and she, she does. Uh, but I think that, and, and oh, and then uh, Fester was in yeah. it. So I'm glad to see some other faces. And then I didn't realize this was being produced, or at least assessed from the mind of Tim Burton. I don't know how much he's involved in the actual yeah. show, if he was directing, producing, the mastermind behind the story. I don't know, but it says Tim Burton, which is cool. I like his aesthetic. Oh, um, I definitely like the aesthetic a lot of this um, trailer. The colors and everything yeah, really awesome. like appealed to me, and I wasn't expecting that at mm -hmm. all. <laughs> and then I saw Christina Ricci. I wasn't sure if she was going to be in it. Um, I had seen her name in the cast list, and I was like, because you know sometimes on IMDb or whatever, it just... They have people from like previous stuff in there and it, it's not real, they're not actually in the film, but it gets like associated with it. So I wasn't sure if she was actually gonna be in it, but she is. Um, I don't know what character she's playing. I don't she think it's like a, a teacher. Yeah, I don't think it's a I don't think it's like an older version of herself or anything. I think she's just as kind of like an Easter egg character, like the hey, haha, it's funny, you know, it's cool that she's in it. So that's cool. It did look like there was a funeral somewhere in the preview. Um, I don't know whose funeral. Um, I also see Morticia at one point, she's like plucking like rose petals off in a graveyard. I don't know if it's the same funeral, if somebody close to them has died, or they're just morbid people, so maybe they like to hang out in cemeteries. I have Probably. no idea. But I did see that's pretty funeral. much what it was about before. They just love the, the dead they and do. the undead and mm -hmm. all that, so. Yeah, Fester would always get electrocuted and not die, and, you know, all these things. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know, maybe there's something to that funeral maybe some some sort of interesting plot thing I don't know but Wednesday does seem um, concerned or I don't know if concerns the right word but interested in the fact that there's something going on um, at the school that's sinister mm -hmm. um, so yeah I saw her I looking she, I think feel I feel like she's gonna be trying to figure that out throughout the show yeah like it's a mystery like she's yeah. a Sherlock Holmes almost <laughs> I did see that she I think she, she was looking at some boy at the funeral. Mm -hmm. I, I think that was maybe her looking at it. So I don't know if that's, if that's like a love interest potentially, or if that is a, she's thinking that's like somebody that maybe is doing nefarious things. I got the vibe that he was sketch, but. I did too. I could be wrong. <laughs> but like sketch, like. Like, like actually Fra sketch. Or Hans and Frozen sketch. Like he's supposed to be like this debonair, Suave no, I just dude sketch. that she's into, and then all of a sudden he becomes no. sketchy and dusty, or just straight up sketchy. Just straight up sketchy. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the most obvious thing, which I feel like is Morticia Adams and Gomez, the look of the characters. So if you're familiar with the family, uh, the Adams family movies, and even the TV show, Morticia Adams has always been this really beautiful, you know, long dark hair, very pale skin. Uh, but like basically a beauty um, and then Gomez has always been this like suave almost like rich um, wealthy debonair why am I, I've used the word debonair twice in this <laughs> trailer review here I don't know why but like this like you know suave kind of guy like this cool GQ magazine dude um, but in this trailer Gomez is kind of this like short stubby little bit you know broader not like it doesn't feel like a GQ magazine kind of guy I love that guy that's playing him though what's his name uh, yeah playing? Luis Guzman yeah. I believe is his name yeah he's in Count of Monte Cristo and stuff. yes he is um, I fell in love with Luis Guzman I think that's how you say his name Guzman I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong dude I'm sorry you but said you pronounce pronouncing wrong so I did whatever so but pronounce 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 this <laughs> um, <laughs> I love him. I think he is awesome. Count of Monte Cristo for sure. Like yeah. I fell in love with that dude. He uh, first of all, Count of Monte Cristo, Jim Caviezel, love that Luis. Um, it's got Guy Pierce in it. Who huge fan of Guy Pierce as well. We're not that talking movie. about Count of Monte Cristo. Well, anyway, go see Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Count of Monte Cristo, the new one, not the original or whatever the books, but the yeah. new one, newish. It's like 20 years old now. Go see that movie. I love that movie. Same. But he's in it, and that's the first time I feel like I ever saw him really in a role, and he was so good. He's been in a lot of stuff since then, but I love him. But they're using him as a character. So what do you yeah. think about that difference in um, 
sort of like the stature. stature. <laughs> um, it didn't bother me at all. Yeah. I know that a lot of people- I've, I didn't I've, really think about it. I've been getting like little bits and pieces of people being upset about that. Like, that's not Gomez. But like, if you go back to the original comics, back in the 30s, he was actually this like short, stubby kind of little dude. Like, Stop calling uh, him stubby. Well, whatever. I don't know what else to call it. I'm short. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. You <laughs> short, stubby people stick together. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, really, um, that's kind of what his character was. He was sort of like shorter than her, a little broader. Um, well, I um, never thought the other Gomez Adams was uh, GQ. Yeah, so to me, I, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. <laughs> but I know people have been upset about it, but I don't know why, because that's what yeah. his original character was. And first of all, Luis rocks. I think he's a good looking dude. I think he's gonna rock this role. He's hilarious. Yeah. Um, just because he's a little bit shorter than Morticia, which again, that's what the comics were. I don't, this doesn't bother me at all. I think he's gonna add so much to this show. Um, I actually hope I get to see more of him. And Catherine Zeta-Jones rocks. Yeah. So like between the two of them, I actually hope they're a little bit more involved in the show and on screen than what it showed in the trailer because I think those two could be phenomenal as sort of the supporting cast for Wednesday. Wednesday is played by Jenna Ortega, and she looks like she is, like, she was born to play this role, I feel like. I mean, she is killing it. Even in the trailer, I can already get the sense that she has a really good handle on this character. Yeah. Like, she's got this kind of, like, she's really, she's really cute, she's pretty, but she's also, like, very, nef like, nefarious, I guess. I think I've used the word nefarious twice in this trailer, too. I need a different Rolodex of words, apparently. A thesaurus needs to break out for this. He opens up a, a calendar every day that tells him a new word. Do I? I don't think I do that, but <laughs> it feels like it right now. It does feel like that. Um, but I think she she looks awesome in the role. She's playing it. I love her little grin that she does at the end. Like She's kind of like, mm-hmm. Um, I think it looks great. So I'm super pumped about it. On Netflix, I think exclusively, November 23rd is the day. So you're going to want to check that out. Uh, definitely. Thanksgiving Day, I think I'm going to be probably binging it a little bit. Um, I think it looks super fun. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if it's going to be one season. Maybe we'll get multiple seasons out of it, but it looks, it's a pretty rich, you know, story. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with those characters and in that um, sort of universe. So let's cross our fingers. So is this going to be a noble or a nope video trailer? Um, I'll let you go first. Is it a noble or a nope? It's definitely noble. Yeah, it looks really good to me. I'm gonna say Noble too, but you weren't even that excited about seeing this no, trailer. I wasn't. I was like, I know. She really wasn't. I, was, I really wasn't. But once I she saw was like, how quality it yeah. was, I was like, oh. You were okay. doing the whole like Super Mario thing. You I were like, was. I don't know about this trailer. And then after you saw it, now you're like, what? I wanna yeah. see that. See? Huh? Huh? Don't count it out. Um, I'm giving it a Noble too. So it's definitely a double Noble here from us. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Can't wait to see it. So. Hope you've enjoyed this trailer reaction video from us. Be sure to check out all of our other trailer reaction videos. We've got tons of them below. Um, and then also, if you are a huge fan of Disney Universal, uh, theme parks, you like food, restaurant reviews, all sorts of stuff, check out our other channel at The Noble Way on YouTube. Um, until we see you next time, thanks for joining us. Bye-bye, everybody.